good morning people uh welcome back to the channel happy monday uh today is i think it's like the 28th maybe of september and i have a very very special video in uh in store for you today i'm very excited about this if you see our truck in the background this is our 2020 i think it's a 2023 maybe a 2022 uh silverado trail boss build this one's going to be amazing as you can see the truck's already lifted back here but it's only on like a, maybe a four or six inch lift with some 35s and 20s it's about to be massive this truck is going on a 12 inch uh color matched candy red lift kit from fts and it's getting some uh 26 by 14 same color jtx forge vanquish wheels and we're going to do some 42 inch toyo tires this truck is going to be gigantic when it's done uh, stay tuned. There she is. Uh, about to go under the knife. I had suggested that we remove the fender flares here for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, the main reason is fitment. These are going to get right in the way whenever we put the big wheels and tires on it. So I know it's going to have to be hacked down here anyway. So, you know, I think it would look better if they were off. Personally, I'm not a fan of fender flares. I'm not going to try to hide it. I think it takes away from the look of the truck. I think it looks a little cheesy, to, to be honest. You know, there's some situations where they look all right, but to me, I think it takes away from the uh, stance of the wheels and tires. But I'm super, super excited about this truck. There's a lot of things that's already done to it that he uh, is showing me this morning. He just put a huge stereo system in it. The truck is absolutely done correctly, though. It, it sounds amazing. The bass is awesome. I think he said he had three or four 12s, maybe four 12s in here. And then in the back of the truck, look at this craziness. This truck has like a different alternator on it, all kinds of stuff. I'm not an electrical guy, so don't, don't quote me wrong here, but I think he's got like 3,500 watt amps right here. It's insane. Truck sounds amazing though. He let me hear it earlier. This is going to be a uh, it's going to be an exciting video. I'm uh, stoked about it. I can't wait. Drove all the way here from North Carolina this morning. All right. So with this truck, there is so many moving parts that I felt like I needed to tell a little story first. So Brent is a customer who uh, who found me on YouTube. And he's been watching for a little while. He's been he's kind of watched every video that I've posted ever, and he found a uh, he found a video of a black uh, Chevy Silverado 1500 that we lifted about two years ago. And I've done two videos on the, or actually three videos on the truck. Uh, the most recent video was when it came back to the shop with a green uh, wrap on the truck. It was on a 12 inch Chrome FTS kit with some 30 inch JTXs and 42 inch Fury tires. Brent wanted to go big, so he wanted to go just as big as that truck, he said, but he really wanted to have more uh, more rubber, more tire than the 30-inch wheels had. So we ended up going with a 26-inch wheel, which gave us the uh, opportunity to go with a Toyo tire, which I like Fury tires, don't get me wrong. You see them a lot on my channel, but uh, Toyo is the best tire. Uh, Nitto and Toyo are the same company, and there's just no... There's no match. I mean, they're just the best. They ride smooth. They last forever. They don't wear funny. They never shake. It's just, it's a good tire. So Brent wanted to go with the Toyo tire and the JTX wheel because I said that was, you know, the best quality stuff I had. And we did the uh, red FTS kit with some uh, chrome upgrades and some control arms and things like that on it. Now, when it came time to pick the color for the lift kit and for the wheels, he said, hey, I want red. I said, there's a lot of red colors, a lot of different reds. I said, go on Prismatic Powders on their website and pick out a color. He said, I don't really want to go pick the color out. He said, I want you to pick it out so I know it's good. He said, but there's a car that he uh, he bought for his wife. It's a Mazda. I think it's like a uh, CX-5 or something like that, maybe a CX-7. And he said, the car is the prettiest color red that he's ever seen. And I was like, well, send me a uh, picture or video of the car and I'll see what I can do to max the paint as close as possible or the powder coat. Uh, powder coat and paint don't match up perfectly, so you know it was it was a close color, not an exact color, but we made it happen. So he sent me a video of this car. I'm gonna drop that clip in here, and then he uh, also, um, what else was I gonna say? He also uh, told me that the truck had a lift kit on it already, had some black and red fuels, and a couple things. So he sent me a picture of the truck, and. Uh, we made some big changes to it. So tell me what you think about it in the comments. Uh, I think there's probably a detail or two that I was going to tell you back here that I forgot I, I forgot to say, but 
Uh, if I remember, I'll come back and tell you. Thank you. All right, the other thing that I was going to tell you that I forgot to tell you is that um, there was a mess up, right? I don't really know if it falls with us or JTX or whoever it falls with. When he ordered the wheels originally, we had uh, agreed to go with a red and polished, right? Uh, the face of the wheel was supposed to be red and the back of the wheel was supposed to be polished. The first set of wheels that were uh, made for this were the opposite. They were red on the back and polished on the front. And I'm going to throw a couple clips of the wheel in here because it looked amazing like that. But now that the truck is done and over with, I understand where he was going with the uh, red face and it does look better with the red on it. So tell me what you think. Do you like the wheels with the uh, red back and polished front or the polished back and the red front? <laughs>
All right, so we have the uh, the big black and red truck is done. I'm driving it right now. This is my first trip out in it. Let me sure I'm not hitting the curb. I'm uh, I'm headed to the hotel right now to pick up Brent, the owner of the truck. He came in from uh, North Carolina, and he's heading back out of town today. Super excited. Uh, so far, the truck doesn't even feel like it's lifted. This thing is gigantic. It's huge. And it turns all the way, both ways. We just did a little trimming on it. A little trimming. We did a good bit of trimming on this truck. You really can't tell it. It's really nice. I'm going to go over the trimming here uh, in a few minutes. But right now, I'm going to go get the reaction of, of the customer. And I'm going to drive it and give you some footage of how the truck drives. I don't feel any rumble from the tires. I don't feel really anything. It's super soft and smooth and I feel like I'm driving a house down the road. This thing is giant though. The truck still has plenty of power. I'm, ba I'm barely touching the gas in it. No steering wheel shake, smooth as glass. I barely hear the tires. Plenty of braking power. One more thing uh, I get asked a lot. Um, of course, I get asked to do a test drive of the vehicle, which I'm doing in this one, but I don't typically do. I get asked uh, what lights are on on the dash after a 12 inch lift kit like this. There's your answer. Nothing. Tire sensors work, ABS is good. No, uh, no problems with anything. So that's, uh, there's your answer. Well, our customer Brent approves of the truck. Uh, picked him up at the hotel a few minutes ago and we are almost back to the shop, putting some gas in it cause he's about to get back on the road. Truck drives awesome. Uh, no, uh, no issues at all to this point. 12 inches of lift on 42s. Today is a uh, happy and a sad day for me. The happy part is the truck is done, the, the big black one here. And uh, the sad part is 
my customer Brent, we became friends over the last few months. You know, putting one of these deals together is not the uh, fastest process sometimes, especially when you want custom painted or custom powder coated parts like this one's got. Um, I think we started this process back in June and FTS made the wheels, or FTS made the lift for us. JTX made the wheels for us. We had a uh, color called Ruby Pearl uh, powder coat, which is red with a, with a sparkle in it. You know, you've already seen probably in the earlier part of the video, uh, the reason why we went with this particular color and all. So uh, that's why, and it turned out amazing. So the truck's headed back to North Carolina today and I may uh, see it one more time when he comes back for the retort. But other than that, I may never see this truck again, which is the sad part overall. I'm gonna flip the camera around now and show you the truck again and go over the details of what we did to it. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, do you like the size of the truck? Do you like the wheels? Do you like the tires? Let me know how everything turned out. Appreciate you watching. I always say I appreciate you watching like I'm not about to flip the camera around again, but here we go. So this is a 22 and we call it a 22 and a half because this is the uh, refresh face on the Silverado, which means they did the uh, headlights a little different right here is different than the previous 2022, 2021 model. They did a split year, so half of the trucks had one front end, half had the other, but luckily this one had the refresh face. This is a trail boss, which means it does come with two inches of extra lift in the front from the factory, but other than that, it is a uh, Silverado all day long, just a longer strut in the front. Uh, this truck, we did a FTS 12 inch lift kit. Now this is a 10 inch lift that is raised to 12, but it runs good at either uh, size. There's the angle of your front axle. It looks amazing. I think this is right at where it is from the factory when you buy a brand new truck. Uh, what they did on this kit to utilize the factory strut and not have to buy a coilover is this is a boot right here. You see earlier in the video, this boot slides right on the bottom of that factory Rancho strut that comes on the Silverados. And then that's the 10 inch boot with a two inch upper strut spacer on the top. It gives you a perfect ride. It rides like a factory truck. The upper control arms here are the ruby pearl color with a chrome FTS badge on top, which is a very expensive upgrade, but it's worth it, I think. Down here on the uh, underside of the truck, you'll see the front kicker braces or strut tensioners as, uh, as some people call them. And then back here on the back, you have the matching traction bar. We also did a chrome insert piece right behind FTS right there, if you can see it. Looks awesome. The wheels are the 26 by 14 JTX Vanquish. Same color, Ruby Pearl on the face. On the back side of the wheel, we did polished because he has some wheel lights that are gonna be going on this truck that look pretty cool and they'll reflect really nicely off that. We did some chrome spiked lug nuts on it too right here, but you can't tell it. They look red because the wheel's so red. That was crazy to me. There's John, AKA Daddy, he built the truck. Let me know what you think in the comments. This truck has a really, really uh, loud horn blasters horn on it. And also in the back, he's done a bunch of stuff with the audio. I think he has 512s in here with about 7,000 watts of, uh, of an amp. Emotional support vehicle. Perfect job there. And then if you pop the tailgate on it, there's the fender flares that came off the truck, but there's our amps and all the wiring in that box. The full bed has the rug inside and I think he's about to make it waterproof. Drop me a line about it in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you uh, are interested in building a truck like this or you have uh, any questions about this one, feel free to reach out. The number is 678-994-9180. I'm Jake, we're at Southern Tire in McDonough, Georgia. Thanks for watching. Thank you.